Here's like the back area. Very frosty. The water has like frozen solid, so I have to like. There you go. This one too. I have to put some fresh water for them today. Let's let them out. Sure you are. Suck it up. Wait for me. Hi. Thank you for frosty in the morning. so I got these two new power heads on Amazon it was $13 for a two pack $13.51 and they're called the Sun Sun JVP series summer so circulation power head pump so yeah let's pull them out and look at them they just arrived this morning gotta be careful that I don't like it but here is the first one sorry it's all tangled up the first one is here the cord I'm glad that they have separate cords. I thought they would be stuck together. Like, it didn't show that, but I was just like worried. Or not stuck together, I worried that you'd have to like, they'd have like on the same cord or whatever. But here is the first one. I like that it's tiny, small, and simple. Which is what we need. Then the second one is here as well. And this is the pump or pump suction cup. You need to release it like this, and then when you get it on the window, you just press that in. So, if you need to plug this in over here, oops, hold on. I think, yeah, like this. Put the sub suction cup in here, and then. When it's on, you push it like this, but since it's not on, we're going to do it like this. So, I'm going to put one of these in my 55 and then in my salt water. So, let's go and try it out. I'm a little sad to see this go, but, you know, it is what it is. This tree is very, very beautiful. I love this tree. We got it at Walmart for, I think, like $79. It's perfect. It's not too big, not too small. And if you know me, I hate small Christmas trees. I mean, I love them, but I don't want one for, like, myself. You know, unless there's an extra one for like decoration, but for an extra Christmas tree, I don't like it. Look who's looking outside. Let me see, Bubba's. Hmm? Ooh, piggy. Yeah, this porch is still apart. As you can see, we still need to put it together, but I don't know when that's gonna happen, so. I got my salt water, uh, no, I got my powerhouse for my salt water, and it, I got two for like $13 or something. And I put one in here, but it's way too strong for this fish tank. This fish tank, guys, is six gallons. Again, I do plan to upgrade them um, soon, so, you know, don't worry about that. But, um, I just wanted to, like, test it out with a smaller tank or whatever with my fish keeping of saltwater fish. So, anyway, six gallons. The powerheads were too strong for this, so I decided to, instead of doing that, I just decided to take them out and I put them in here. I had one also in my 29 gallon, but it was too strong for the fish in there. I probably would have been okay if I had moved it somewhere in the corner, but I just decided, you know what, I think it's better if I keep it in this tank. So I put one here, and this one here. They're tiny, so they're not that big, but it's like the perfect amount for this tank, like the perfect amount of power for this tank. If you hear that noise in the background, it, the filter there, it's damaged. It's kind of like getting broken. So that's the one that's making the noise, not the powerheads. The powerheads are very quiet. So I did order a new filter for that, which should be coming today in a few hours. So I'm super excited for that. Hopefully it'll fit back there and the noise, or the noise, the water will be less cloudy. Anyway, so yeah, these powerheads, they don't make noise. Um, they're very, very nice, as you can see right here very easy to clip on the suction cup on these things are very very strong you guys like you have no idea if i remember i'll link them in my description or you can remind me i'll link this one and i'll link the filters that i got also so yeah i love it i love it because i add some type of movement in this tank because i feel like the fish were hardly moving before 
I don't know if it's made a difference yet. I haven't stopped to watch these fish, but lots of movement. The fish are really moving around. I actually love it. So yeah, in this 55 gallon tank, I just have my three Oscars, one blood parrot, and then my four baby, um, not four baby, four convicts, the two pairs of convicts, mother and father, and then their two offspring that have decided to pair off together. Which is a little bit weird, but fish, it doesn't really matter with fish that much, unless you overdo it, but yeah. So, um, yeah, that's done, and hopefully the new filter that I will be getting for this tank today hopefully that'll take the care of the cloudiness of the problem but my little uh what you call this guy uh, lawnmower blenny is out and about and this rock thing just closed up but it was doing good earlier so I, I i know what the problem for this is i'm sure is the filter so i got a seven i got a filter that filters seven gallons of water and a six gallon so hopefully that'll do the job taking care of that well, as you saw in the earlier it's still morning time same time just maybe an hour later it was super frosty outside so it was in like the 34s 30s and that's cold i remember last night getting like a notification saying it's freezing i was like shit it's probably gonna be frosty in the morning and sure enough it was frosty and by the way guys today's um the 31st i think let me check real quick sorry yeah, 31st of December, so, yeah, um, I'm just kind of super stoked to get this year over with and so ready for 2019. I hope it'll be a better year for me, but I don't know. This year was very, eh, not that great, I'm not gonna lie, it was very, I was very down because of it, and it just was a depressing year, so hopefully 2019 will be so much better. Um, by the way, I did... Um, get my new power heads for the fish tanks originally I got it for my um, saltwater quarry which let me show you in a second this is the 29 gallon um, yeah like I said I had a power head installed over here I think in this corner but it was too strong it kept moving the guppies way too much so in the future I will um, fix it I think for the guppies I do want to get a 55 gallon so when I do get a 55 gallon um, He's going to stay in there, and I might bring the other orange guy in it, too, with all these other fish, but we'll have to see how that goes. Um, as you can see here, I still do have some of the convict fry left, so I'm going to see if I can, like, sell them and such to whoever wants them. I got rid of, like, most of them to Petco. Give them away to Petco, and there's, like, an albino one in here, which is really cute. Where is it? It's over there, see? Yeah, and here's this pickle bubba's. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Anyways, since tomorrow's gonna be Christmas Eve, or today's Christmas Eve, and then, you know, Christmas, uh, not Christmas Eve, sorry. I'm out of it. Today is New Year's Eve, and then tomorrow is, uh, just New Year's. So, I just wanna wish you guys Happy New Year's, and in case I don't make a video of that, my New Year's is gonna be very laid back. I'm just gonna be spending it with my mom and stepdad, and I'm just gonna be just laid, laid back and chill, so... Yeah, um, Happy New Year's and please be safe. Try to avoid driving on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day just because, you know, people drive drunk and that's where a lot of accidents happen because, you know, people are enjoying the New Year's with drinking, whatever it may be, and, you know, sometimes they don't listen and they'll drive drunk and then you, you don't want to wind up dead or in the hospital, so... Yeah, just be safe. Please avoid driving out. I'm going to avoid it too. I'm not going to go out because it's just not safe and I hate... That scares me to drive on New Year's Eve and New Year's, so stay home, guys, or stay wherever you are, but don't drive. And don't drink too much, and yeah, I guess that's that. Hey, guys, so I finally got the thing in the mail, the filter, and it's like 1 o'clock. I've been up since 8 and waiting for it. It's been a hassle, but here it is. I thought it would be coming in a bigger box and by UPS, but it just came by the woman who delivers things to our house. This is the filter media for it over here. Filter cartilage or whatever you want to call it. Um, cartilages. I can't even pronounce that word at all sometimes. So let me just grab some scissors really quick and we'll talk about this. This looks like a small filter, like um, size wise, which is what I need for the oh, salt aquarium. But this is it right here. It's a Cascade 20, which filters seven gallons. And 
hoping this will fit easily in the back and hang on how I want it to hang because I really needed a new filter. So, yeah. Let's just get to it. Here's a cute little box for it. Or the cute little box. The, here it is while well, it's wrapped. I can't even speak. I'm sorry. But. Why do they. Holy shit, you guys. This tape they use for this is no joke. It's a small filter, which is perfect though. Because I need a small one so it can fit in the hole without getting abused. Well, I hope it's not too small, but this is what it looks like. Again, it does filter seven gallons, if I remember correctly, ordering on there. Yeah, so seven gallons. So my aquarium is six gallons. So this is good. It's a cute and tiny little aquarium or yeah, filter. This is a filter cartridge over here. And it came with three extras. Oh no, I forgot. I bought these three extras. Sorry. But it comes with your own here. Which I probably will be adding some other type of media filter in the future in here. Just because this is so flimsy. So I feel like it would do better if I find some other ones. But here it is. It's tiny, cute. Hopefully this won't cause me problems like the one I currently have. So let's go and get to it. So as you guys can see, this is the current filter. It came with this Huluva Edge Aquarium, which is six gallons, and I'm going to take it out. It makes a lot of noise because I had to replace the bottom part, which is this part on that tank with another filter, and it's just been noisy. And it doesn't seem to be doing the job. So this one is a little bit bigger than this one, but I'm hoping this will get the job done. So let's try it out. So it's currently starting. Oh, and it's quiet. You really can't hear it. This is what I'm talking about, guys. If you hear any sound, doesn't sound in the background, it's my filter on this tank, so just ignore that. But wow. This thing is freaking quiet. You don't even hear a peep. Let's see what's. I think you can adjust the water flow on here. For it to be slower or more, I think if you turn it this way, oops. Wow, this is amazing. Yep, this is nice, quiet, peaceful, and just amazing. <clears throat> now, let me find the cover and place the cover on top. See, it's tiny compared to the mine, which is way bigger. But, yeah. It's just the bottom of this right here, the plastic, the black part. The fan light is just too noisy and it's just not working for me. So hopefully this will be alright. Hopefully it will clear up my water. If it doesn't, I'm going to cry. It's literally all I can think of. I'm going to be so sad. This is the filter again, guys, if you're interested in it. I will link the one I got, which is the Pesky 20. There's different options, bigger tank, or bigger filters for bigger aquariums that can filter more water. So again, this is the one I got, seven gallons, which Pesky 20. This is good for like you have a small aquarium and you don't want to take up too much room in the tank or you have a small hole to put it in, so on and so forth. So hopefully that will do the job of keeping this tank clean. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to get find a filter that is for 10 gallons and put it in here. Hopefully that one will help. The filter I had in here for my shrimp tank was fine and clear, but it must be the sand or the rocks because this is a different type of um, water, not fresh water. You know, it's salt and probably requires a stronger filter. So yeah, here he is looking as cute as ever. I really love these two clownfish. I was originally going to get a maroon clownfish, but then I saw this guy and we just decided on this orange guy um they're both orange they're both like simple clownfish i'm not gonna lie nothing too fancy but they're just still cute um yeah i guess that's that um look at this guy i really hope it's going to clear the water to crystal clear and i realized that my yellow striped fish when i first got him he used to be very beautiful and very colorful now he's like 
a dull color. He's lost all his coloring. I saw an old video for him and he looked like a completely different fish. <sighs> so I'm hoping to get him back to how he used to be. If not, then I'll just maybe rehome him to another tank where he'll be much happier. I don't know. And just keep these two clownfish in here. But we'll see. And let's have a closer look to this tank. It's looking, or tank, this little thing. If you guys know what this is, please let me know. I'm not entirely sure myself what it is. I forgot what the guy at the pet store said, but you know, it opens up a little bit and such. So again, let's hope that the water clears up here. Again, no promise, but we will see, I guess. I don't know. There's one more view. beautiful. Oh, let's see if we can find the, uh, oh, here he is. My lawnmower bunny's back there. And again, this is the filter. I will link it in the description, hopefully, if I remember. But, yeah. Liking it so far. It's very, very quiet. The only one that's noisy here is my, oh, um, I don't think it's a filter, either the filter or my power or my pop for to blow air, air bubble, air bubble, air pump. Since I can't speak, I'm sorry. But yeah, see how this water is pretty clear. I want my um, salt water tank to be as clear as this one. But let's see. Let's look at it one more time. So I'll check with you guys in a bit or in another video and show you how it looks afterwards. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and again I want to wish you one more time happy new year's and have a safe safe new year's and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace out